in this box, this small little brown box is I am so hyped right now. This is it. This is what the face looks like of me when I'm hyped. And I know what you're saying. Joku, what, what do you have to actually be hyped about in today? And the answer to that question is this little brown box that I tried opening when I tried doing the first recording of this, but I couldn't get it all the way and I realized my camera was on. So it was perfect. But this, in this box, this small little brown box is a very, very hype thing that I've been working very hard on. And now it's time to see what it looks like. I haven't seen it in person. I've seen some pictures of it. I designed it. Um, but yeah, this is my one year anniversary Kaizoku cards product that I'm creating to celebrate all the cool art that I commissioned this year. I don't know how to get this box open. This is this is not easy because the shriven blade is so sharp, you know? And apparently this is, it's in here. This is it. So we get the first look here. I still haven't even seen it. This is my first time seeing it. Wow. Wow, this is it in plastic. Totally plastic encased. All right, I gotta make sure I don't cut this all the way down to the periosteum. I'm gonna keep this superficial gingival removal and okay so it is a 52 card playing deck 52 card playing card deck wow look at that look at that shiny deck sweet first anniversary thank you this is me saying thank you from kaizoku cards uh courtesy of joku dmd this is me and there's this note here on the back that explains a little bit about me and what I've done and this deck and um, what I got going on here at Kaizoku Cards. So here it is. This is the deck. I'm going to get it out of here and we're going to take a look. Wow. Feels nice. These cards feel nice. Oh, baby. Uh, so I think they're actually going to be a little thinner than this. They sent me a thicker card, but this is the card back here. And um, yeah, they look pretty cool. And let's flip it over and see what's going on. Wow, amazing. So all the queens are face cards. I had to put a Joku instead of the Joker. I thought that you all might enjoy that. Uh, I, I had to sneak a chopper and ace. So, so all the artist names are on the card, the artist that drew the card. And if it coordinated with the artist that the, um, the suit was named after, the suit was themed after, I put that here. Uh, these are all Steve Leonardo da Vinci. This is this is uh, Satsu, but he didn't have a suit. Uh, wow, this is this is exciting stuff. I'm very excited to play this deck. And now, even if you don't play the One Piece card game, you can still enjoy this beautiful art with these cool. So all the Jacks are Yamatos. They're full arts. Also, there's another Queen Nami. Yes, I mean I know I designed all these, so I know what they are, but they look so good. This is. This is so exciting. I'm so excited to play with this deck and I have one, but I'll have many of them. So I'm gonna put these into production, I think. So far, I think these pass. I think this is a pass. I'm, I'm on board. I'm fully on board. I've boarded this ship. I like all the cards. They all look awesome. Wow. Wow, I can't believe this. This is insane. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's real. It's here in my hands. This is, this is what real hands feel like on this deck. To me, king, obviously all the kings are Luffy's. Oh, wow. All the fives are gear five cards. So those are gonna be full arts. Also, the fives, nines, and the face cards are all full arts. I made Zoro the nines. Surprise, surprise. Oh, yeah, look at that Jack. Oh, goodness, goodness. This is such goodness. Oh, goodness. Man, look, we can all have fun playing this deck with our friends, any game. You can play Go Fish, you can play Cribbage, you can play um, uh, Baba Nuki, Gigi Nuki. These are all options of games that you can play with this card. Because card games, there's many card games, and they can all be played with this, with this deck. Oh, it's too good, it's too good. I love this, this is amazing. Wow, all right, cool. So. So yeah, that's the deck. I'm very excited about it. This is my one year anniversary celebration product. It comes in this nice shiny tuck box. 
in celebration of a year of commissioning art and making cards. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I hope you are. I hope you are all excited too, because I think this is something really fun that everybody can enjoy in a healthy and controlled setting. We can all have a good time playing the Kaizoku cards playing card deck. This is crazy. This is crazy to me that this is real. It's right in front of me. I put so much work into this and huge shout out to HZ19. The man, he designed all of the suits. He designed the deck box design. He designed the card back, put a lot of work into this. So um, very excited for him to have some of these in his hands as well. Make sure to go drop him a follow on Instagram, HZ19 art. I tag him all the time with Kaizoku cards. But, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm also a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. Uh, you know, I think the key to having a successful hygiene routine is to make it not feel like work. And that happens when you gain proprioception of your teeth and what you're feeling on them. And what I mean by proprioception is that you are feeling what's going on there. So like when your tongue touches your tooth, you feel that there's like plaque there. And you're like, oh, I don't want the plaque there. It's actually kind of similar to like how a baby shits their pants. You know, when you're a baby, like your agenda is just packed full of stuff to do. Everything's so new, you're so busy, everything's so interesting. So you really like, you don't have time to like sit on the toilet and wipe your butt. But eventually your parents or somebody, guardian gets you to sit on the toilet and, and eventually you do start wiping your butt, hopefully. And when that happens, as a baby or as a youngling, you start to realize that it actually feels all right not having shit in your pants. And then you're like, oh, I, I don't smell bad. I don't get rashes. Like, hmm, maybe I'll do this, sit on that thing and do the wiping thing. And then, and then you start wiping your butt. And then you do that, like for the rest of the time, because it makes you feel better. You feel gross if you don't. And that's really where you should get with your hygiene routine is you should feel like you notice the stuff on your teeth and you don't want it there. So you take action to get it off of your teeth, either by brushing, flossing, you know, whatever it is that gets you to keep them clean. I recommend a Philips Sonicare Protective Clean 4700 Listerine Ultra Clean Flossers Pro Enamel and a shower flosser also is pretty sweet if you can get in there. Anyway, that's my spiel. I'm so hyped about this. Also, I got this new card. I mean, if you find me in Orlando, I might have one of these for you. They'll probably run out, I imagine, but I'm gonna have a grip of them. So come say hi and pose in my picture because I'm going to pose in your picture because I'm a poser. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Lee Lee Lee. Happy birthday. It's your happy birthday. It's your birthday. Don't you know about that? It's your birthday, boy. It's your birthday, boy. Happy birthday, boy. Don't you know about that? It's your birthday, boy. It's your birthday, boy. Happy birthday, boy. Yeah.